Up to now, the end user devices we've been using in our packet tracer labs have been primarily the PC object, and in a few cases, the laptop object. But really, we've just been using these to test for connectivity between the various parts of our network. When we go to the desktop on one of these devices, we see the IP configuration icon where we've been setting our static IP addresses. And we also see the, the Windows command line, where primarily we've been using this just to ping to other parts of our network. But taking a closer look, there's a lot of other stuff going on here on the desktop. There's actually a web browser. And this is a partially functioning web browser that will render simple HTML code. Other end user applications include an email client, uh, various text editors, and things we would expect to see on somebody's desktop. With our topics though, changing more towards network infrastructure, this is a great time to introduce the packet tracer server object. And we find a server object by simply going to the end devices category and actually right next to the laptop we see an icon for a general server. Now there's a couple of specialized servers in here also but the one I'm talking about is just the general server object. When we click on this we actually get a picture of what it looks like physically and this is a four or six unit rack mounted server right so this isn't an end user device this is network infrastructure. Its desktop looks very similar to the PC's desktop. We have the same area for configuring IP information. We have the same command and prompt and we even have the web browser but this is intended to be a server so if we look at this new tab that doesn't appear on PCs called services we can see that all the services that this device is capable of providing to our packet tracer environments the top one HTTP is a web server so this device can serve web pages to be rendered in the web browsers of our clients and if we look at some of the web pages here if I just crack open the index.html this is actual HTML code so this web server will serve simple HTML and in some cases even simple CSS code. Other services include DNS for domain name services. We'll be configuring this in a later week. Network time protocol, an email server, an FTP server, and even a DHCP server. Now DHCP especially can be configured in a number of different ways, both within Packet Tracer and in the real world. We can go ahead and configure our routers or our firewalls to be DHCP servers, or we can simply configure the server object to be the DHCP server. Both can be applicable depending on the circumstances. I encourage you to, to spend some time with the server object, become familiar with it, and gain an understanding of what it's capable of doing, because we will be using this a lot more in our upcoming weeks.